Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the <laughs> out of me. Get my name out your mouth. Wow, dude. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. I'm going to. What's up, folks? It's your man, Richie Rich, back at it again. You know, and on this video, man of oh man, you know, I'm gonna be definitely looking on. You know, you're gonna get my take of what I thought of, um, you know, the incident that happened in the Oscars involving Will Smith and Chris Rock. You know, Will Smith slapping the but Jesus out of Chris Rock and proving that, you know, everybody hates Chris. Hey man, that, that, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a joke, it's a joke, you know. <laughs> but before we get on to this video, folks, man, definitely gonna need you to check out my Instagram, you know, richman90s, you know. It was actually here where it's like I asked, like, you know, the people who follow me, like, what did you think was right? You know, do you think Will was right? Slapping Chris Rock, you know, um, or was he wrong? You know, if you don't want to be a part of the rich team, you know, go out and follow me on Instagram. But with that being said, let's get on to this video. Oh, yes, man. Like everyone, you know, across the world, you know, um, we were bared witness to what happened in the Oscars, you know, and it's shocking, very surprising, and I think if you lined up all the guys in the world and you'd figure like, hey, they're gonna have this like crazy Oscar moment where they slap one of the hosts, Will Smith, 99 times out of 100 would be the last one you would ever expect, you know? So it is, it's still, it's very, you know, even I, I've watched this video more than 99 times. That's how crazy it is, you know? Nearly every, there's YouTubers and even people who don't even cover like you know entertainment news you know there's some youtuber channels who specifically cover just movies maybe just music maybe like just maybe politics and that everyone has covered uh this story so much so that it's completely dominate you know the whole you know popular trends on youtube you know there's memes being made you know what i mean it's it's it's, it's, it's a whole crazy you know, situation and from like you know at one moment just talking about like what was going on in the eastern side of the world you know um in uh you know that part of europe and now onto this you know so you know what was funny is as i said you know i put this like question on my um, instagram you know so i had like a you know a very good friend who i met in mexico you know um in a shout out to gabby you know she actually um gave her opinion to me you know this was before this so you know have a listen to this i will say he overreacted but i think it was needed because if not they will be keeping like saying this type of jokes and like the tv like shows so i think it was good but it was not the moment you know what i mean <laughs> you know so she said that you know like um i think what's happened like with will you know for you know this this really goes back you know we're talking about like not even so much like what chris rock said you know in the oscars i think it was 2015 2016 where you know will smith um you know boycotted the oscars and chris rock made a dick to jada pinkett well, we're gonna get back onto that you know very soon this really goes back you know to the whole um concept of like um what people see uh will smith as you know like um if you put like will smith in the dictionary charismatic you could say he's charming very entertaining i think there's always going to be like this kind of asterisk or you know like a little you know synonym to will smith is he's like a goofy happy uh star you know what i mean like i'm um, soft you know um what you could describe will smith you know like this was something you know again i made videos on this in the past you know of like when will smith first did on the scene in like the late 80s you know and you know he went from the 90s you know he won the grammy you know first rapper to win a get grammy you know for the uh summertime which is excellent album 
the whole media and even rap culture always saw Will Smith as a soft. Always saw him as like a happy hit. You know, there's even uh, if you check like the skit in Family Guy, it shows like how Will Smith, you know, is. You know. <laughs> I respect women when I'm on a date. I take them to the park, or maybe a museum, and I only try to kiss them if they're ready. Woohoo! What? 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 I wanna say what? What? Help out your mom and dad by getting a job so you can help pay for school supplies. Woohoo! Say ho! Wipe your shoes on the mat when you come in the house. Someone just clean that floor. Woohoo! Say what? What? Ha <laughs> ha! You know, so to the world, especially as Will Smith's star like started to rise and grow, that stigma never went away. You know, never had that. You know, gangster kind of fuck kind of image, such as Tupac. You know, and why I mentioned Tupac. You know, I did make a video on this before, saying like, and I repeat this. And it's 100% true why most black women date thugs. Why they will go for the Tupac Shakur opposed to the Will Smith. So, this, even even when like Will Smith first hooked up with Jada back in the 90s, you know, and Jada really owes her career to Will Smith, you know, we wouldn't even be talking about her if it weren't for Will Smith, you know. For years, um, Will Smith, you know, he's been, you know, he's been in excellent movie roles. He's been like, you know, you know, killing it in the Hollywood stream. You know, it's, it's cementing that A-list status. When it got to that part of like when they, first of all, you know, when Chris Rock, you know, um, he, he he said that like he, he put that was like the strike one. He did the insult about them like in the Oscar, you know, about like you know. Um, you know, Jada wasn't in it. Jada was saying she's boycotting the Oscars, but she wasn't invited, you know, basically putting a kid for her career. Then I believe it was 2020, um, you know, just before that, you know, that's where they, that's pretty much where this whole thing takes place, you know, and I think this is where it stems from Will Smith having the gall to even go up there and slap this fucking face, you know. Will Smith. He, he's a dude that is madly in love with me, you know, and I honestly understand, you know, I it's, it's um, I was in a position like this, let's say, um, you know, I was in a position like this where I was in love with a woman and, you know, got heartbroken, you know, straight up said they didn't want you and it was a bit of pill to swallow, but I moved on, you know. Where the problem with Will is when like Jada had the confidence, she had the confidence on that red people talk, you know, to be viewed around to millions of people in the world to say like, I hadn't felt good in a while. You know what that means? You know, you didn't, you know, Ali Berry, you know, said it best in Monsters Ball. We feel good. You know, she hadn't felt that desire or that kind of like, uh, you know, that sexual kind of, you know, uh, attraction to Will Smith in a long time. So much so that she would, she would lay down with her son's best friend, you know? You know what I mean? That's, that's how crazy even like you could even say, and she's a woman from the day, but it's the whole, the way how women think in this world, like that's okay, you know? so. 99% of guys at that moment, they would have just let her go. You know what I mean? Will Smith, he's a, he's a tall guy, he's a good looking guy, he can get any woman he wants. But there is just such a, like, a extra, like, you know, bond that he has for this woman. You know what I mean? Which, again, it baffles me, you know what I mean? Because there is, I can line maybe 500 women more attractive than Jada Pink Smith. You know, I think she's a cool actor, but... You know, there, there is levels to this shit, you know, like I I can honestly say at this stage, I know my level on YouTube, you know, I'm a humble guy, you know, I know I'm not going to be like, the, you know, the biggest YouTuber and that's okay, you know, I do this for pure entertainment. It's the same way Jada Pinker has to understand her role in Hollywood. She is not going to be that blockbuster 200 million getting the best director to direct her movies, you know, she's in movies like Girls Trip, Bad Moms or Madagascar. You know, and funny about it, guys, was with Chris Rock, you know, voice acting, but that's just it. You know, it's just a straight up. So for her to just have that and for the cojones and she's not a guy, just to basically embarrass, like, you know, an A-list actor. That Red Table talk, you know, if you go back and watch this, you can just see the destruction in Will Smith's face. Like, you know, we're supposed to be together forever, you know, Disney movie. Oh, 
you know, how can I go on without you? Now, Will Smith has that dream Disney fantasy. And if you don't believe me, there's an even extract from The Breakfast Club where Will talked about that he was mad fucking jealous to Tupac Shakur that he knew even when he got with Jada and Tupac was deceased that Jada can never love Will the same way she had love and love for Tupac, you know? Goes back to the same thing what I said, the whole black woman kind of fit. You know, fetishize, you know, the kind of sexual attraction they have for the Pookie and Ray Rays, the gangsters, the thugs, the drug dealers, those kind of people, those are the ones that really make their, you know, pussy purr, you know, if you <laughs> say that, you know what I'm saying? So from that, and now you get on to like, you know, the years after, you know, Will Smith did a lot of movies where he was chasing this Oscar, you know. You know, in my opinion, I watched Ray Richard, I thought it was a, you know, fantastic movie, but I think Will should have got it for Pursuit of Happiness. You know, like, I, I loved his role in that. I could really relate into being on the bottom of the food chain, perseverance, not giving up, you know, so I think he should have wanted that, but you can see from that, he made a movie called Concussion, which didn't really go too well. He made a think it was Collateral Beauty. You know, um, you know, Jeff, you know, there's so much movies he's made which you could consider like, okay, you know, he's gonna get his Oscar, you know. Similar kind of what happened to Leonardo DiCaprio of, you know, like the Oscars kind of just like snubbing him somewhere for years. And then it finally happens, you know, in 2022. You know, you're the man, you're the shit. We are going to deserve you with this excellence for what you did in this movie portraying the Williams sisters, tennis, uh, you know, sisters family, which Williams, you know, and for this to happen on that night when you should be celebrated, you know, I mean, I can see a lot of people's, you know, rea reactions, you know, on this, you know, I uh, personally, as someone, like I said, who has grown up on Will Smith, you know, such a big fan, you know, I was watching Fresh Prince, you know, um, even before, like, I knew what TV stations or TV networks was, was I was watching from there, you know, so to see your idol that you've grown up from the 90s, from the 2000s, and, you know, now in this era, you know, it was, it was really, it was really a shame, you know, and, um, Man, it's like I'm just really shocked because, um, and I've seen other people's takes on this, and I agree. If this was someone that wasn't Will Smith, you know, uh, maybe a lesser actor, like let's say, you know, they have A list, maybe a C list actor, or even if it was just like some just random, you know, Joe, you know, random fan that gone, he would have been sent to prison, you know what I mean? He would have got charged or fined, and you know, nothing happened to Will just because of his status, you know, like, uh, you know, I've heard that he's even surpassed, like, black level, you know what I mean, like, he's not really gonna get punished, us, like, us normal guys are, you know, so, you know, I I'm just even shocked that he was able to do that, and it still allowed him to do the, you know, get the award for the, for the great, for the best actor, you know, so it's shocking, you know, and where I think there is a lot of meaning to like where Will was able to just go up and just slap Chris. Let's just see straight up, you know. The, the joke that did Chris that Chris Rock did, it wasn't the best. You know, I've never seen JIG2, but I do remember Demi Moore going on uh, you know, talk shows promoting, you know, I think this is when she was still with uh Bruce Willis at the time. You know, so I do remember Demi Moore's like you know, buzz cut, you know, but I just think, as I said, like, I don't think not too many people knew about the disease that did think it has, it was alopecia, you know, I'm just aware to this now, you know, so for Chris Rock to know that, you know, and it's, it's not really, you know, a heavy insult, it just shows where Will Smith's, like, mind and, you know, his emotions, you know, and he's the best, the best of him, you know, I think, He's been struggling over these years of like, you know, Jada, you know, I know what it means to be in love. So I totally get it. I, I get that thing of like, you want to be very sensible, your actions and what you say in threat of losing them. You know what I mean? Like once you've been heartbroken before, ladies and gents, you don't want to get heartbroken again. Trust me, that pain, you will always remember that pain. Trust me. So I think when she was able at that red table to just sit there says, yeah, man, I was fucking your son's best friend. And guess what? You ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to do a goddamn thing about it. I think that's, uh, Will's carried that on for a while. 
You know what I mean? Because um, Will's, like I said, like, um, Will's not getting money from her. You know, Will's not getting movie roles from her. You know, they when they make this Bel Air series, you know, they didn't go for Jada Pinkett, they went for Will. You know, so Will is the top dog, but it's just this whole thing of the Jada Pinkett's the masculine, the masculine one. You know what I mean? And um, it, it's just so strange. And as I said, this is a very thing that's very deep into the black culture with like the black women. You know what I mean? Of trying to be like the heavy dog and control the relationship. Because as you see from that, when Chris Rock made the joke. Jada, you saw the reaction in Jada. She just went like, mm-hmm. You gonna let him talk to me like that? You know, you could just see that. And Wu just said, oh yeah, you know, I, you know, he's been doing this for years. You know, I gotta make a reaction. You know, it's like he was channeling, you know, the actor he played, you know, the, the guy he played Richard Williams. I just think it's unnecessary because I will be real, you know, like I said, you know, I've dated and I've been with around some of the let's say the stereotypical black women who are basically like um you know they're not the man but they display so much black uh, they say they display so much masculine energy you know so much so that you can make a fuck up moment like that and embarrass yourself you know like that's always gonna be with will smith you know you know forever now. that's gonna be stuck you know and you know it's, it's really sad because as i said like um this is not a low rank awards. You know? Let's be real. This is not the BET Awards. This is not the Source Award. This is a international recognized award of achievement. This is the best you of the best of the best you can get. You know, and it's just a bad imagery to see how far like we as a people have gone. And you're seeing like two black guys like legit like fighting on the stage. You know what I mean? Like I know. Um, you know, Will's the one who got like you could say the better of Chris Rock, you know. But I just put it in my mind. Imagine if it was someone who wasn't Chris Rock. Imagine if it was like uh, you know, Fifty Cent, you know, or the game. You know, understand? Or even like The Rock. You know, I mean, someone like that. You know, I don't think Will Smith does that. But even if he does that, like why? You know, just on some bullshit. You know, but you know, it, it, it's crazy because I, I and I think because I have asked people, you know, this, you know, that both you know, should. Will Smith give the Oscar back, you know, or should it be just taken away from him? I'm in a kind of divided thing because I think when that moment initially happened, Will Smith should have been escorted off the premises, you know? The reason why is I've been in positions like this, like I said, it didn't get physical, but I've been in situations where I've broken the rules and immediately I was banned, I was escorted out, you know? This is a little you know, rich man, you know, like I said, no, you know, I mean, I had no nothing, you know, I'm in a much better position now, but it's like, I was that nine to five working guy. When I um, abandoned things, I was told to leave, leave the premises, you know, because I didn't follow the rules of that, you know, event or like where I was working, you know, so he should have not been able to get the Oscar at the end, you know, if he was going to get the Oscar, that should be sent to him and he could probably do a Zoom you know, combo and that. But the idea that, like, this happened is an act of violence and the show kept on running and just acting like nothing ever happened. You know, sure, the comedians, I saw when P did the show comes, talked about it and that. But the idea that it was just able to slide and the show continued, it really says what Hollywood is about. You know, I heard Jim Carrey, what he says, you know, for me, someone being a fan, because that's the thing, you know, um, I was watching Jim Carrey and Will Smith, you know, they've got similar ages, you know, I was growing up with Jim Carrey and Will Smith. And as much as Jim Carrey, and Jim Carrey said he has, he doesn't have a problem with Will Smith, but the act he did has to have consequence, you know, Chris Rock should have sued him. You know, and and uh, Will Smith, I just don't believe he shouldn't have got the Oscar for that moment. You know, like I said, for the performance alone, yeah, I believe you know, Will Smith was due the Oscar for a while. You know, give it to him, send it to him, FedEx the the package of the Oscar. You know, so he can do, you know, put it on YouTube or Instagram. You know, stuff he likes doing. But for that, because the problem is, is now you're telling the whole world that that's okay Come on stage and slap them. You know, whether it be at a comedy show, whether it be like at some showtime, you know, at the Apollo, you know, whether it could just be like joking around with your, with your boys, you know, and they could be like, well, you know, if I have to text someone, you know, oh, Will Smith did it, and he got away with it, you know, so 
yeah you know it, it, it's really been because as much as people like joke on it you know for me it really you know as i think of it more you know now we're like three days um in after this you know it does leave a bad taste in my mouth you know because um will smith is not Tupac Chico, and i appreciate him from that you know i always love that you can be black and you can still be accepted around the whole world you know what i mean like i said not every black guy has to be a gangster not every black guy has to be a fuck not every black guy has to be a drug dealer and i really appreciate will smith for being um that positive role model you know and he influenced me a lot you know if you see my videos there's a lot of will smith i channel in you know what i mean he's had a big impact to the rich man you understand so you know i mean to really see that man really think he just added like and you know and honestly you know i would like to even hear from you lot what you think is going to happen next you know, with his career you know what i mean because we'll movie roles he will we'll like these kind of directors or even like you know ones who want to do projects with him will they kind of look at him differently now you know i i heard the oscars are now looking like what they're going to do now you know i i don't think the oscars going to be taken away because you've already given it to him do you understand you know they could ban him from the oscars and that i don't know but you know i would like to hear what you lot think about it you know i, I my final thoughts and think it was unacceptable you know chris rock didn't deserve that you know credit to him for like still staying there and doing his performance and that you know like um honestly like if it was someone else in that position even me you know the reason why i say this is because i was someone especially in before like 2020 you know i always say there's two versions of me that was that person who was very like i wanted to be friends with everyone um you know i took a lot of shit no back on that person i would have possibly like just been like you know that's you know that sucks you know and i just would have been humiliated the way I feel now, especially now I've leveled the fuck up to Super Saiyan 3, no one on this planet can fuck me. You know what I mean? Like I said, anyone wants to do something like that, that's a split kick in the ass. Straight up. I don't give a fuck who it is. You know, so it's a different thing. If I was in that position, someone, yeah, you know what I mean? I love Will Smith. You know what I mean? Independence Day, Men in Black. Still. I gotta keep it real, you know what I mean? I'm no gangster now, but no one will, no one on this, no one, don't care how big they are, I think no one would come and humiliate me like that. No one. You know, so, you know, like I said, you know, so yeah, you know, let me know your thoughts, you know, about this, you know, what you think is gonna happen, you know, after, you know, especially with Will Smith, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it, yeah, it really, it really sucks, you know, because it's just that, I, I think you can call it an oxymoron, you know, am I right? You know, it's like something that was meant to be such a great crowning achievement has like turned sour because of just, just one moment of stupidity. You know, I just, just the, uh, the, the idea of, you know, even after when he slapped him and he was shouting, like, keep my wife's name, it was some gangster shit, you know? Like he was waiting for that, you know what I mean? Just from um, his wife's you know like reception you know so you can definitely tell that um relationship is toxic and one thing I've, I've said and i keep on preaching if you are in a toxic relationship you know whether it's your friends your family you know or your partner or your wife you know um it doesn't make you a coward for leaving you know what i mean don't stand there and fight because there's always going to be multiple multiple advice leave and go find your happiness somewhere else you know? and that's what the fuck i did you know what i mean so I'd love to hear your thoughts, you know, as I said, you know, check me out on Instagram, you know what I mean, um, you know, all my links will be in the description, you know, yeah, you know what I mean, like, uh, let's see, you know, what happens, you know, not even just an Oscar, but this, this now crazy world we live in, you know, so, you know, with that being said, you know, um, for sure, man, make sure to update your wallet, and I'm out.